You know, it was really another day uh, where he was pitching dominant. Um, I thought Robbie Broach today was uh, was really good. He had all three pitches going. His breaking ball had a lot of depth, and uh, you know, it's, it's it's really encouraging to see Robbie finish up the fall uh, the way he did today. Preston Claiborne had another good day also. So those two guys, and then you know, uh, to see Drew Zazenia. Uh, have a real good uh, six and then pitch out of a jam in the seventh. And that was encouraging two ways. His, his stuff to begin with and in, and also to be able to pull, uh, do something that, you know, in the past has given him some issues. Um, that was encouraging. But I am I'm, I'm still very concerned about where we are offensively. We're not, and, and again, we're, we've pitched so well, but we are nowhere near where we need to be from an offensive standpoint. Defensively, very sound. But with the exception of Rob Sagan and, um you know, it hadn't been a whole lot of uh, offense uh, to talk about. You know, Quinn Pippen again today uh, had a hit, uh, looked good swinging. Uh, Gunner Wright, Gunner Wright was an encouraging thing to see. You know, Jamie Bruno had a double today. It was good to see Jamie because he struggled so much, and and we need him to to get it going. But we still have a long way to go offensively. We've got one more day to see if some guys can take some steps. But we got some freshmen right now, uh, position player wise, that, that are getting overwhelmed a little bit. And we knew that was going to be the case. And now you start finding out a little bit about the, the toughness of some kids and how they handle those things. And we got one more day to see it before we go uh, into our exit meetings and, and start talking about where guys need to get better for, uh, for spring.